So we hear the Lenara Connect. Uh, so uh, what's the latest that you've been working with? Uh, personally, at Disconnect, I've spent so much time in steering committee meetings, uh, supervising all the segment groups, discussing with all our members, uh, trying to provide as much value as possible uh, because Linari is all about collaboration with our members. So it has been a pretty intense week. We're all tired, all got cold. The air conditioning is pretty strong here. Spend very valuable time together. Um, even we had social events in the evening and uh, those are very good opportunities for networking. Uh, regardless of being in a nice venue with good food, but you continue discussing, uh, talking about priorities, talking about things to improve or things that have gone really well. So, very intense week. Um, I'm very pleased with the keynotes, lots of good stuff. Uh, we tried also to have something uh, new, different. Uh, we had Qualcomm present artificial intelligence into drones, self-driving, everything, and it was really exciting, forward-looking. Uh, we had Heather Mika uh, discussing about uh, software licenses, open how does, source. How the open source license is going to stay relevant forever, basically, because if, if some people are excited about it, who knows what will happen you know, with the yeah, next generation. That, that was exactly the topic of Heather's keynote. Uh, all the open source contributors, they own a copyright, and within the licenses, even within the GPL, they grant use of that code uh, to the um, developers who receive the code. But now the question is when the first generation of, of developers, of contributors will, uh, let's say, move to a better phase of life, <laughs> somewhere up, um, when they get upstreamed. They get upstreamed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, yeah. yes, that's a nice way. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, their heirs will, uh, will own those copyrights for 70 years, at least according to the US law. Uh, you hold a copyright till you get upstream and for 70 years. So, will, will the heirs be as good as favorable uh, with the open source community or will there be any rogue contentions trying to make money out of it? So this is what uh, Heather Meeker was raising in her keynotes in a very clear and, uh, and positive way. Was she no suggesting drama. to cancel all copyrights? No, uh, no, no, she no. was not. No, <laughs> she was me. not. <laughs> no, she was not. Okay. She was not. But, but uh, she proposed a few, few, few solutions. Um, I'm, I'm not an expert in the domain. I'm very interested in the software licenses, but I'm not an expert, so I'm not the one who can explain those proposed solutions. And, and but there, there will be fixes, I'm sure. And today there was a keynote uh, from... Uh, yes, from Jan Rabe. Uh, that was also one of my favorites. I, I hope people enjoyed it. Uh, if not, I'm the guilty one. Because... <laughs> uh, um, Five years ago, um, I attended a keynote by Jan Rabe uh, at University of Lund in Sweden, and I was completely fascinated by his keynote, by his communication style as well, his vision. Five years ago, he was envisioning connecting IoT devices, uh, sensors, and more not just as we do today in a one-to-one, -one, a sensor giving you a temperature or counting how many steps and telling it to you and that's it. No, his vision five years ago and he was already working on it. So this comes to 10 years ago. He was envisioning connecting all these sensors and distributing tasks across the sensors and possibly having the sensors coordinate by themselves just like bees in a swarm. And this is the swarm, his vision. And now Linaro is and making today, this real. So today, fast forward, and today this is, this is for real. The this swarm was a demo OS, the open, yeah. open, opening keynote. So the swarm OS is a, is a kind of coordination uh, framework, software framework, 
between the nodes, the IoT nodes, uh, and uh, there are um, students and professors like Professor Zufo from Brazil who are prototyping these on the Linaro 96 boards. And, and so since at Linaro we started working on the Internet of Things, my dream, my dream was to have Jan Rabe come at Connect and give a talk about the swarm and about the future. And the, the vision is going forward. This morning Jan was talking about expanding this network of nodes, the swarm, even more and having humans part humans part of this world. We all carry our phones, but we should do more and, and be connected, which should be smart humans connected uh, to the swarm. That hopefully was very fascinating. Be, hopefully it will be a positive swarm and not an aggressive swarm. Yes. It will be our friends. Our friends, as, as Jan said. And as my boss says, yes, we love the idea, but my boss says he loves the idea, but he wants to become a smarter, connected human. Well. Maybe the next generation when he's not anymore. <laughs> so right. it's, it's fascinating. Um, the keynote was, was really great. So thank you, Jan, if you're watching this. Professor Jan Rabe, thank you for coming and giving such a fascinating keynote. So what's the other stuff you're working on in the, the next uh, few months? What's going to happen? Um, we, we had a great day with the ARM data center today. We had a lot of companies coming and uh, talking about their products. There's some uh, pretty cool chips coming out. The Thunder X2, the new Qualcomm chipset. Uh, I, I'm sure you can add links uh, in, uh, under this video with links to those companies talking about their chips. It's uh, been many years in the making, many yes. years now, six, seven years, seven years. Correct. Have you worked even longer than that on, on the server ecosystem stuff? Um, Linaro started seven years ago. And you? Uh, I started with the Linaro seven years ago. I was with ST Ericsson in the Linaro board and then moved to Linaro five years ago. And we started working on servers five years ago. And so, so now it's maybe the year that things are going to shake up a lot, and the, and, and and all this work that the Nara has been doing, it's, it's all, maybe going to pay coming, off more It's and all more. coming together. If you if you see, we have LEG, we have the developer cloud. The developer cloud is a full blown cloud instance running complete, full open source. So at Linaro we have collected all the open source packages. We have made sure that they all run on ARM and all the patches are upstream. It shall just work. No local quirks. Uh, it shall just work. Um, and so the developer cloud is running these open source software with all the patches pulled down, for example, from the OpenStack Cola project. It's, it's, it's upstream. There's no, no hidden patches. And so we have a complete data center that is running on ARM servers, full open source. That's the best proof that we are we are ready. So it's coming. You're ready, it's coming. It's not just the swarm, it's also the servers. The it's servers, everything. As, as soon as the, the chips are qualified for mass production, they, they will go and that's that's the, the hardware side. And the home group is pretty busy. The mobile group is still busy. They're all busy, they're all busy. We're all pleased about the way they are progressing. Uh, there's a lot of interest in, uh, in the home group in continuing on um, uh, unifying the media acceleration for the set of boxes, smart TVs, OTT, digital home devices, and Linaro with OptiE, the open, uh, open Platform Trusted Execution Environment. We are in a unique position to have a complete open source secure solution. We have integrated Microsoft White Vine, uh, Microsoft Play Radio and Google White Vine, apologies. Uh, we have integrated them with OptiE. We have a complete open so solution for the security and the DRM. Of course, deploying these into products requires the right licenses with, with Microsoft and Google, of course. So that's not just, there are legal implications that, that people should comply with. But, but we can implement it with open source. And so we can combine the unified work on media acceleration with a secure solution, and we can achieve a complete open source secure data plane solution. This can be applicable to smart TVs, OTT. This can be applicable to uh, both Linux, 
we have an open SDK, which is a collection of open source components into a complete media reference uh, framework with open embedded Yocto, but also um, Android TV. Uh, we can help our members integrate the secure solution within the media acceleration for Android TV products. So all these, all the industry is super happy with the work that Linar is doing. It's so, so like, uh, they're probably watching this video and saying thanks a lot for what yeah. you're doing. But uh, you, you probably no, thanks, thanks to you, John. But. And uh, you probably telling them uh, you're welcome. Just come over, and oh. maybe it, you can't just solve everything. Maybe you're too good, and you solve so much, and like, but you always have new challenges. Um, another very exciting announcement was from our CEO um, last Monday, the associate program. So we want to widen the base of companies collaborating with Dinaro. Uh, it's beyond the silicon vendors, the commercial distro vendors. We want to help to have the uh, OEMs, ODMs, uh, building products. Um, they can be part of, of what we are doing. They can help share valuable feedback so that the silicon vendors and the ODMs, they can build better products better time to market. They can help influence the... the yes, the correct. It's it's the kind of the voice of the market. Um, so so it's the, there should be hundreds of mem uh, associate members by next connect. <laughs> I don't know. I don't be. know. I don't know. Potentially, potentially we have least uh, in, in every segment group and it looks exciting. Cool. So, and then there's also a lot of cool stuff happening with the networking. Now, every, every base station is going to be on part running uh, some of the cool new networking solutions and this has been working for, for years also. Um, I, I let those companies who are providing those demos, um, I'm sure you have filmed yeah. the demos here, so the demos are pretty cool. Uh, whether Base Station will, will run, uh, I let you check with those companies. I, I cannot speak for, for the companies, but it's exciting. Uh, it's exciting that The open data plane acceleration uh, is, is showing the full uh, potential. And uh, this shall not be just an, an ARP only thing. Um, we really want to break this uh, assumption that ARM is ODP and Intel is DPDK. It, 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 it's wrong, it, it's, it's a wrong <coughs> setting. Um, we do work on DPDK as well, uh, on ARM, and uh, we would be pleased to share best practices from ODP uh, to DPDK. It's, it's, it's about collaboration, so El Dinaro, we want to collaborate with, with any project. And ODP has been proving a lot of uh, increased value. Already at, at Last Connect in Budapest, last March, we demonstrated a complete IPsec acceleration with ODP, uh, integrated with open fast path um, and and that that is tremendous um, so you can expect expect more to come um, networking is looking at Spartanik and edge devices it's it, it's exciting there's a lot that will be coming. so that risk idea really paid off and uh, and uh, Sophie Wilson did a nice little <laughs> implementation of the instruction set and everything is great right now you know my next dream uh, last Tuesday you saw the announcement of the Socho Next, uh, the developer box. It is a super cool uh, desktop machine uh, based on the Socho Next 24 core chip. That is running Linux. Um, you want to put that inside <coughs> the BBC computer? I want to port RISC OS on that machine. Port RISC OS? RiscOS. RiscOS is the, the heritage. It was developed by Sophie, Sophie Wilson, together with the first ARM chips. So RiscOS in 1988 had anti-aliasing and uh, vector font rendering and drag and drop. Uh, we discussed this last a few months ago. RiscOS now is an open source project with the RiscOS Open Limited, if I'm not wrong. Uh, some friends in UK. Uh, they ported it on the, I think, uh, on... Dragonboard? 
No, I'm not no. sure. I would Some, love that. Something. I would love that. Uh, I would love that. So, I would. I, I would like to see. I would love to see Risco exported on the Sochi Next PC. That would be the new Risk PC or the new. Can you invite Sophie Wilson to do the keynote at the next Linaro Connect? <laughs> that would be a dream come true as well. Why not? We should, why not? Hopefully, Hong we Kong is a to. nice place. Why that, not? That Why not? Like That's that. a great idea, Tarbox. Thank you. <laughs>